Welcome, 21st century students. You have the chance for a new renaissance even beyond Florence. You can say you can win it all. You can say you can change the world. This is just a version of Romeo and Juliet. I mean Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Storytelling. Lecture. This is a tragedy of love and hate arising from the hostility between two illustrious families who really existed during the Renaissance in Verona, where today's tourists can still visit Juliet's house with a famous balcony. The Capulet family and the Montague family hated each other, but nobody could remember the origins of their enmity and rivalry. One day, two servants of the Capulet family, working in a square in Verona, where two servants of the Montague family arrived. The four servants started fighting, even if Bonvolio, one of the Montague family, tried to separate them. Tebal, one of the Capulet family, by asserting his law thing for all the Montagues, provoked Benvolio. Lord and Lady Montague, Lord and Lady Capulet arrived, and a lot of people from the two families started battle with their swords. Aeschylus, the prince of Verona, was very angry and ordered them to put down their swords and not to disturb the peers again. Benvolio met his cousin Romeo, who told him the reason for his sadness. The beautiful Rosalie did not love him. Paris, a young nobleman of Verona, asked Lord Capulet if he could marry his daughter Juliet. Lord Capulet agreed and prepared invitations for a big party, which one of his servants was supposed to deliver. As the servant could not read, he asked Benvolio and Romeo to help him. The two cousins decided to go to the party because they saw Rosalind's invitation. Lady Capulet told Juliet that she was the right age to get married, but Juliet objected that she was not interested in marriage because she was too young. Lord Capulet talked to Juliet about Paris and the party and said that he expected to know her decision the next day. Romeo Minvolio and their friend Mercutio put on their masks and went to the Capulet party. The musicians played and everybody started dancing. Romeo saw Juliet for the first time. Fell in love with her and forgot Rosalie. Tibble, listening to a conversation, recognized Romeo's voice and wanted to kill him. He told his uncle Lord Capulet, who seemed to remember the promise to the prince. Romeo danced with Juliet and kissed her. Later, he found out that. She was his enemy's daughter and went away confused. When the nurse told Juliet that he was the only son of her greatest enemy, she answered, My only love comes from my only hate. The party finished but Romeo wanted to see Juliet again. He saw her on the balcony of her bedroom window and thought, It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. They decided to make a secret plan to get married. At the monastery, Romeo asked Friar Lawrence to help him to marry Juliet. Friar Lawrence said that perhaps. It was a chance for peace between the two families. Juliet's nurse, informed by Romeo, told Juliet to go to Friar Lawrence in the afternoon, and the friar married them. On his way home, 
Remy Chang stop on table. Table. Challenge Remy to a duel, but Remy did not accept the challenge. Merkish the fat table, but was stopped by the Capulet, and before dying, he said, A plan on both your houses. Romeo killed his best friend's murderer. The prince knew that Tebel had slain Marquisha and Romeo had assassinated Tebel to revenge his friend in Sue. He banished Romeo from Verona. Romeo had to leave Verona and never return to avoid the death penalty. The nurse informed Juliet of the bloody and violent events. Romeo thought Juliet hated him because of Tybalt's murder, but the nurse told him to put a letter to Juliet's bedroom window so they could spend their wedding night together. A short honeymoon before his last farewell to Verona. Lord and Lady Capulet told Paris the be truth about Juliet's sadness, but obviously they did not know the real reason why. She was grieving and they postponed the arranged wedding to the following Thursday. At dawn, Romeo had to escape. Juliet cried, and her mother tried to soothe her by talking about the arrangements of the wedding party. But Juliet still refused to marry Paris, so her father gave her no choice. The marriage of out of the house forever. Juliet had a husband, but the nurse suggested she should forget Romeo and Mary Paris. Juliet went to see Friar Lawrence Square. She met Paris, who called her My Lady and Wyatt, and then left her to her confession. Friar Lawrence explained to Juliet dangerous plan. He told her to agree to marry Paris and to drink a special liquid which would make her seem dead. Then he sent Fry John to mentor with a message for Romeo and Juliet. A bit of free. Drink the potion the night before the wedding. The next morning everybody thought she was dead, and after the funeral she was put in her family tomb. Balthazar, Romeo's servant, told him that Juliet was dead as he had seen her in the Capulet Chapel. Romeo shot Bargirif, decided to die by poisoning himself beside his beloved Juliet. When Romeo arrived at the tomb, he asked Paris to let him enter. Paris refused and Romeo killed him. While Paris' servant ran to tell the prince about Romeo's crime, the Montague opened the tomb and looked at Juliet asleep in her pale beauty. He caressed her head and face, kissed her on her lips, drank the poison to the last drop, and fell to the ground beside her. Fry Lawrence, alerted by Fry Jones that he had not taken the message to Romeo, rushed to the couple of chapel and saw the dreadful sight. Paris bought the outside and when he went downstairs with a torch, Romeo's corpse and the empty bottle near Juliet, who was waking up after 42 hours. Friar Lawrence, desperate at the loss of his friends, claiming, Destiny has changed my plan. Romeo is dead. Dead. And he changed it. No. He went out of the tomb, beseeching Juliet to go away from there. Juliet did not follow him, and she stopped herself with Romeo's dagger. Later, Paris servant returned, discovered the dreadful tragedy and formed the two families. The 
Prince of Verona called Capilla the Montague family, showed that the garrison scene of the love scopes, the result of their hit and spoke. You must learn love from Romeo and Juliet's love sacrifice. So Lord Capulet said to Lord Montague, Brother Montague, give me your hand. The La de su de height between the two families, she into love.